Integrating NetSuite with HubSpot is a powerful way to bridge the gap between your ERP and your CRM. This video is going to talk you through how to seamlessly connect NetSuite's robust financial and resource management capabilities with HubSpot's advanced marketing, sales, and customer service tools. When it comes to integrating NetSuite with HubSpot, you've got a few main options for how you set that up. The easiest way is with HubSpot's native data sync integration. You can choose one directional or bi-directional sync and you can map your data between the two platforms. You will need Operations Hub Pro or above in order to map custom properties. The benefits of this native data sync are that it's easy to install and configure, it offers out of the box integration capabilities, and it's supported by HubSpot for frequent updates. The downside is it probably doesn't offer the depth of customization that enterprise businesses require. Another option for integrating NetSuite with HubSpot is to use a third-party integration platform. iPaaS platforms like Make or Workato offer pre-built connectors and integration apps for NetSuite and HubSpot, which can simplify the integration process while also providing more customization and flexibility than the native data sync. If you're using an iPaaS platform, costs can vary based on the volume of data you are putting through them. So if you have a lot of information going through, then it could prove to be a costly integration. If you need a ton of customization with your integration between NetSuite and HubSpot, then you can create a custom API integration. This allows for a tailored data sync based on the specific business requirements that you define. The benefits are it's highly customizable, it allows for specific data fields and workflows to be integrated, and it can be optimized for performance and specific use cases. The downsides are that it requires significant development effort and technical expertise in order to implement. It's also going to have ongoing maintenance and updates in order to accommodate changes to APIs. When you're thinking about which integration method is right to you, here are a few things you should consider. Number one is your complexity of needs. The more complex your integration needs are, the more likely a custom integration or a robust iPaaS solution will be necessary. Two is resource availability. Consider your available technical resources and expertise. A custom API integration is going to require skilled developers while an iPaaS solution is more accessible to non-technical users. Number three is budget. Custom integrations can be costly both in the development and the maintenance, while third-party platforms and native connectors may have recurring subscription fees. Number four is scalability. You want to ensure the chosen solution can scale with your business needs, handling increased data volume and additional integration points over time. And number five is data sync requirements. Consider the frequency and the volume of data that you're syncing. A real-time data sync may be crucial for some businesses, while others may suffice with periodic updates. Selecting the right integration approach depends on your specific business requirements, your technical capabilities, and your budget constraints. It might be helpful to consult with an integration specialist or the softwares themselves in order to determine the best fit for your organization. If you need help determining which integration method is best for you, Aptitude 8 has built dozens of NetSuite integrations for clients. And if you need help integrating NetSuite and HubSpot, you can contact us at aptitude8.com. Once you've integrated NetSuite with HubSpot, you can use the robust commerce data that you get from NetSuite in order to benefit your marketing, sales, and your customer success teams. You can use NetSuite's detailed purchase history records to segment customers in HubSpot. This segmentation can inform targeted marketing campaigns, personalized content, and special offers based on past purchasing behaviors. Here we have a list put together of companies that have purchased one of these two products that we have synced over from NetSuite into a HubSpot custom object called product. You can also leverage subscription and cancellation data from NetSuite in order to track win-back campaigns in HubSpot. These campaigns can be tailored with personalized messages and offers designed to address the reasons for cancellation and to encourage customers to reconsider their decision. So here we've got a company record and you can see on this sidebar, we've got a custom object for eight subscriptions that is being synced over from NetSuite. And in this particular case, Vertex Healthcare has canceled their subscription. 
So next, I'm going to walk you through a workflow that's going to show how we could win them back. We're going to trigger this workflow when a company has a subscription to a particular product. In this case, it's Connectify. The subscription status is canceled, and the cancellation reason is because of price. Once that subscription has been canceled, we can send an email to all of the contacts associated with that subscription, offering them a discount or a free gift in order to incentivize them to resubscribe. If you're managing products that have an inventory, you can use NetSuite's real-time inventory data to identify products that have excess stock. This information can be used to create targeted promotions and marketing campaigns in HubSpot, and help you move inventory more efficiently and capitalize on opportunities for upselling and cross-selling. Here we've got a record for our products custom object. And if you look on the left sidebar, you can see the amount currently in inventory, as well as a max inventory amount. This would be the maximum amount of that product that you have the capacity to store. I've also built a calculated property for inventory difference. So this shows if you have more than your maximum inventory amount, how much more. Using this inventory difference property, we can create a workflow. So anytime that number is negative, meaning there's more in the inventory than you have the capacity to store, we can send a notification to someone. In this case, we could send it to marketing so that they can run a promotion discounting this product and hopefully moving more out of the inventory, getting it back down to a more manageable level. With NetSuite payment data, you can implement reporting that focuses on realized revenue, allowing your sales team to track commissions based on actual revenue that you've been paid rather than just one deal amounts. This provides a more accurate reflection of sales performance and earnings. You can see here I've built a report that shows the accounts and the amount of payments that we've collected from those accounts. In this report, I'm also using HubSpot's ABM target accounts feature so if you're doing an account-based engagement strategy, you can create kind of a leaderboard of your top target accounts and how engaged you are with those accounts. By integrating NetSuite's inventory and pricing data into HubSpot, you can provide your sales team with real-time access to a product's availability and current pricing. This enables sales reps to provide accurate and timely information to prospects and customers, improving the efficiency and effectiveness of the sales process. Going back to this products custom object we've created, we're able to see the current amount in inventory, as well as the current price of this product. Another way you could enable your sales team to view inventory levels as well as go through a CPQ process within HubSpot is to use a CRM card. This is gonna allow your sales team to quickly create accurate and customized quotes based on real-time pricing, discounts, and inventory data, reducing the sales cycle and improving customer satisfaction. So here we have a custom CRM card that is pulling data from NetSuite. You can see the different products that we have listed here. You can add those to the deal. You can see the current price, a description of the product, the amount currently in inventory, and you can add them to the deal. Once you've added them, you can see the current quote, you can apply a discount, and you can then generate a HubSpot quote by pushing that button at the bottom. Once you've integrated NetSuite with HubSpot, here are three different ways that your customer success team can use NetSuite's robust financial information to power better customer experiences. You can import your support history data from NetSuite into HubSpot to provide customer success teams with a comprehensive view of each customer's interaction history. This enables personalized and informed support, improving resolution times and customer satisfaction. HubSpot's native data sync with NetSuite already maps NetSuite's support cases with HubSpot tickets. Here on a HubSpot ticket record, you can see previous activities that have been logged to this ticket, as well as update the status of the ticket. All this information can be used in a bi-directional sync, so your service team can either work in NetSuite or HubSpot, depending on your business's preference. Customer services teams are often concerned with customer retention. They can use NetSuite's subscription data to automate renewal notifications using HubSpot's marketing automation tools. This is gonna ensure timely communication with customers about upcoming renewals, as well as provide opportunities for upselling or cross-selling during the renewal process. 
Here I've got a workflow. We are gonna trigger off of a renewal date for a subscription being less than two weeks away. Once the account is enrolled in this workflow, we're gonna to check to see if they have auto renew turned on or off. If they've got auto renew turned on, then we're gonna send them an email letting them know that their subscription is about to renew. If it's off, we're gonna send them a gentle reminder email suggesting that they sign up for auto renew. After that, we're gonna delay for seven days. We're gonna to check to see if they turned on auto renew, if they renewed, or if they have not yet renewed. And if they haven't renewed, then it's time to renew. We're gonna send them another email letting them know, and hopefully they take action. By leveraging NetSuite's comprehensive data within HubSpot, companies can create a more integrated and data-driven approach to marketing sales and customer success. By enabling a seamless flow of critical data between your ERP and CRM, you can achieve a more unified view of your customers, streamline your operations, and drive more personalized and impactful engagement. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to Aptitude Aid's YouTube channel. And if you need help integrating NetSuite and HubSpot, you can contact us at aptitude8.com.